My name is Lauren Price. I'm a networking specialist customer engineer at Google Cloud, and today I'm going to talk to you about the networking concepts for Cloud SQL that are helpful to know for implementation, security, and connectivity. Cloud SQL provides a managed service for MySQL, Postgres SQL, and SQL Server databases. Cloud SQL offers many services like backups, high availability, maintenance, and more, and all managed by Google Cloud. Each Cloud SQL instance is powered by a virtual machine running in a Google managed environment that is connected to the environment that you own and manage. By running in a Google managed environment, this allows Cloud SQL to abstract away all of the management overhead to be offloaded from you, the user, to Google Cloud. Even though Cloud SQL sits in a Google managed environment, Google will never have access to the data that resides on the Cloud SQL instance. Cloud SQL can be deployed with two different access patterns, public IP and private IP. Let's start by taking a look into the public IP deployment pattern. A public IP is an IPv4 address that can receive connections from devices both inside and outside of Google's network, including from locations like your home or office. Let's take a look at the access patterns from different scenarios. Let's say you want to connect from a client on-prem. To connect to a Cloud SQL instance, the traffic will egress from your on-prem network and access Cloud SQL through a public IP address on the internet. If a client is located in Google Cloud, the traffic will egress through an instance with a public IP address or a Cloud NAT and ingress to the Cloud SQL instance through its public IP address. If the client is located somewhere on the internet, that client can access the Cloud SQL instance directly through its public IP. Any clients making a connection to a Cloud SQL instance hosted with a public IP must be allow listed through the use of authorized networks. By default, the allow list is empty and nothing can make connections to the Cloud SQL instance. Clients can also connect to a Cloud SQL instance hosted with a public IP through a Cloud SQL auth proxy, which we'll discuss more later in this video. The other Cloud SQL deployment pattern is through private IP. A private IP is an IPv4 that's accessible on a virtual private cloud, or VPC. Configuring your instance with a private IP is preferred when connecting from a client with access to a VPC either within the VPC or connected to the VPC through a hybrid connection. Private IP Cloud SQL is deployed using private service access. Private service access is a commonly used private routing method on Google Cloud that allows workloads in your VPC to access Google managed infrastructure services privately. Private service access is implemented as a VPC peering connection between your VPC network and the underlying Google Cloud VPC network where your Cloud SQL instance resides. There are two parts to the private service access configuration process. You will start by selecting an existing or allocating a new IP address range as the private service access range. You also have the option of allowing Google to allocate the range for you. In this case, Google will automatically allocate an IP range of prefix length slash 20 and use the name default IP range. If you're going to create instances in multiple regions for different database types, a slash 20 or larger range is recommended. Next, a private connection, otherwise known as a VPC peer, will be created from your VPC network to the underlying service producer network. Keep in mind that you only need to configure private service access once for Cloud SQL per VPC network, and the IP range you allocate for private service access will become available for use by all Google services globally that support private service access. Let's talk through the access patterns. Let's start with a client attempting to access the Cloud SQL instance from the internet. Because Cloud SQL is deployed on a private IP, there's no way for public clients to access the instance directly. Now let's walk through a connection initiated from within the VPC in Google Cloud. Clients are able to connect directly to the Cloud SQL instance from the directly peered VPC. Additionally, you can also use the Cloud SQL auth proxy. If you are in a peered hub and spoke architecture model and you're trying to make a connection from a VPC that is not directly peered to the private service access VPC, you must use a proxy due to the non-transitive routing nature of Google's VPCs. Be aware you can also replace a peering hub and spoke architecture with a VPN hub and spoke model so that the private service access route can be advertised over the VPN. 
Finally, for a client to connect from on-prem, you'll need to make sure you're advertising the private service access route over the VPN or the interconnect. If the VLAN or VPN lands in the VPC that is peered directly with the private service access VPC, then you'll be able to connect directly. If the VLAN or VPN lands in another peered VPC, then you'll need to use a proxy to connect. Remember, you'll never be able to ping a Cloud SQL instance. You'll only be able to initiate connections through applications, the respective database client, or the Cloud SQL proxy. Let's quickly touch on some network security related topics. For Cloud SQL deployed with public IP, you can use authorized networks to determine a list of whitelisted IP addresses that can access your instance. You cannot use firewall rules to control ingress to a Cloud SQL instance. You can use the Cloud SQL auth proxy to encrypt all traffic to and from the database using TLS and to control who and what can connect to your Cloud SQL instance. So let's summarize the three most important takeaways from today. Cloud SQL can be deployed with either a public IP or private IP access pattern. If you want to use Cloud SQL private IP, you must create a private service access IP range and a VPC peer will be created. Remember this when it comes to routing. You can use authorized networks or Cloud SQL auth proxy to determine who and what can access the Cloud SQL instance. Thanks for watching and look out for another video on the concepts of networking for Google Cloud's managed services.